Mr. Speaker, will you call the House back to order, sir? House will come to order. Mr. Morelli? Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're going to get started here in uh, just a moment, but uh, we do have a few introductions. Uh, first of all, on behalf of Ms. Warner, uh, who's at the back of the chamber, she's very excited to have a very special individual, uh, Matthew Rosell. Uh, Mr. Rosell is a Hudson Falls social studies teacher. He was recently recognized by the Board of Regents for his efforts to educate students about World War II and the Holocaust. Uh, Mr. Rizal received the 2015 Louis E. Yavner Teaching Award, which recognizes teachers and private citizens who have made outstanding contributions to teaching about the Holocaust and other violations of human rights. Uh, Mr. Rizal has uh, his students interview Hudson Falls residents who served in World War II and post the interviews on his World War II Living History Project website, which he launched 15 years ago, which I would certainly encourage people to uh, go visit. Um, I think it's touching. He's joined in the chambers by three students of his who left, uh, on who he left a, uh, a mark and uh, in a positive way, Isabella Underwood, uh, Shannon Cantiello, and Cassandra Kelleher Donnarumma, all of whom I'll say have uh, decided to pursue um, public careers and work for the state of New York. We're delighted to have his students here, but we're particularly uh, excited to have Mr. Rosell in the chamber. I want to thank you for all that he does for the students of New York and uh, for his excellence in teaching. If you'd please extend the cordialities of the House. Certainly. Uh, on behalf of Mr. Warner, the Speaker, and all the members, we welcome you here to the New York State Assembly. Sir, we thank you for your uh, in involvement in teaching history of a very critical moment in our world's uh, history, and also those students who have followed you in this pursuit and come to work for the State of New York. We welcome you. We extend the privileges of the floor to you and hope that you will have a good day here in Albany. Thank you so very much for coming. <laughs> Ms. Corwin for an introduction. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to interrupt the proceedings as well on behalf of our colleague, Mr. Fitzpatrick. Uh, he has some very, very special guests here in the chamber today. Uh, Kathy Albrecht of Smithtown is here with us, uh, and she's accompanied by her husband, Dave, as well as two family friends, Marlene Wolke and Helen Matisse. Uh, the reason Kathy is here today is because she was uh, just given the New York State Gift of Life Medal of Honor. Uh, this is a program that recognizes the selfless, life-saving contributions of organ and tissue donors. Uh, Kathy uh, recently... Uh, read in the newspaper about a 27-year-old woman who was in desperate need of a kidney transplant, a complete stranger to Kathy. And uh, because of some uh, family issues that happened in her life, she felt compelled to act. And she reached out to the young woman. And after nine months, uh, the woman was finally able to undergo the surgery. And so they went through the surgery. And it turned out to be completely successful. And the reason Kathy knew that is because as she was in the hospital bed, in the hospital, the father of the, the young woman dropped to his knees and said, Kathy, you saved my daughter's life. So it was a very, very wonderful thing for Kathy to do. Uh, and she certainly is well deserving mm -hmm. of this Medal of Honor. So if you could please extend the course judge of the house and our special thanks for being so brave and so courageous in helping a total stranger. Certainly, on behalf of Mr. Fitzpatrick, the speaker and all the members, Kathy, welcome here to the New York State Assembly. We extend to you the privileges of the floor. We thank you for your selflessness. We support the, the family that stands behind you. Uh, we hope that you stand as a shining example to many others in this state who have the ability to, to help others survive and enjoy their lives. Thank you so very much, and congratulations on your medal. And Mr. Morelli. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's always exciting to have uh, family members join us in the chambers, and I uh, couldn't be more excited for uh, Mikhail Solaj, our colleague and friend, who has her son Nicholas with her today, 11-month-old Nicholas, who I think on July 6th will celebrate his first birthday. Um, we're also joined um, by other family members, Jacqueline and Jonathan uh, Levine, who are Mikhail's niece and nephew. 
as well as her sister, Michelle. So there's a Mikael and there's a Michelle in the family, two sisters. Um, and we're obviously excited to see Nicholas here. Uh, hope he'll be back uh, many, many times in the future. But uh, I'm sure he's keeping Mikael running around and uh, chasing after him. So please extend the cordiality of the house to our dear friends. <laughs> Certainly on behalf of Mikael, the speaker, all the members, we're so happy to have family here. How are you? Goodness gracious, you look so well in that seat. No doubt you will grow into it. And one day, we hope, take that seat so that you represent your community. Thank you so much for being here. And Michelle, the, the sister, how are you? We welcome you here. Family, always welcome to the floor, always having the privileges. And you, sir, are absolutely dazzling. Welcome to see you. Thank you so very much. Mr. Morelli. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, the B calendar having already been advanced, I'd like to uh, consent it beginning uh, on page three with rules report 258 by Mr. Thiel. Clerk will read. Assembly 169, rules report number 258. Mr. Thiel, an act authorizing the Commissioner of Environmental Conservation to undertake projects. On a motion by Mr. Thiel, Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Clerk will record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 102, noes 0. The bill is passed. Assembly 584A, rules report number 259, Mr. Thiel, an act to amend the navigation law and the insurance law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect January 1st. Clerk will record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Eyes 94, noes 0. The bill is passed. Assembly 885, rules report number 260, Mr. Simberwitz, an act to amend the mental hygiene law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Clerk will record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 108, noes 4. The bill is passed. Assembly 1049, rules report number 261, Mr. Cahill, an act to amend the real property actions and proceedings law. The bill is laid aside. Shh. Please. Assembly 1156A, rules report number 262, Mr. Dinowitz, an act to amend the administrative code of the city of New York. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 1763A, rules report number 263, Mr. Wright, an act to amend the administrative code of the city of New York. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 2544, rules report number 264, Mr. O'Donnell, an act to amend the correction law and the penal law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 2558D, rules report number 265, Mr. Gottfried, an act to amend the education law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect immediately. Clerk shall record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 102, noes 4. The bill is passed. Assembly 2834D, rules report number 266, Mr. Titone, an act to amend the insurance law and the public health law. On a motion by Mr. Titone, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. The bill is laid aside. Assembly 3174, Rules Report Number 267, Mrs. Peoples Stokes, an act to amend the general business law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on the 90th day. Clerk will record the vote.
Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 122, noes 2. The bill is passed. Assembly 3590B, rules report number 268. Mr. Skoufis, an act to amend the executive law. On a motion by Mr. Skoufis, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on the 120th day. The clerk will record the vote. Mr. Murray, to explain his vote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to rise to uh, commend the sponsor on this piece of legislation. Uh, I do wholeheartedly support it and urge my colleagues to support it as well. However, I do want to bring up one particular flaw, if you will, and that is that while this does allow for the checking of the sex offender registry, the problem is that here in New York State, we have failed to move and because of this, or take legislative action, because of this, many level one sex offenders who actually are more like level twos or level threes, since January 1st of this year, have been falling off of the registry and have been disappearing. So while it is great that we check this registry, and I, again, I applaud the, the uh, sponsor of the bill. I think it's a great move in the right direction, but the flaw is that many of these sex offenders are now falling off the registry because we have not taken action to correct that problem. So while I support the bill, I urge that we also take action to correct that problem as well. I'll be voting in the affirmative. Thank you. Mr. Murray, in the affirmative. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 113, noes 0. The bill is passed. Assembly 4037A, rules report number 269. Mrs. Robinson, an act to amend the banking law. Read the last section. This act shall take effect on the 60th day. Clerk will record the vote. Are there any other votes? Announce the results. Ayes 112, noes 3. The bill is passed. Assembly 40, 47, rules report number 270. Mr. Farrell, an act to amend the public authorities law. Bill is laid aside. Assembly 50, 74C, rules report number 271. Mr. McDonald, an act to amend the social services law and the public health law. 
On a motion by Mr. McDonald, the Senate bill is before the House. The Senate bill is advanced. Read the last section. This act shall take effect January 1st. Clerk will record the vote.